Good morning, friends. We're all in here. <laughs> he's feeling a lot better. He had surgery on his eye, so he's got some stitches and it's a little swollen, but he's doing good. Okay, friends. We've got question of the day here. Do you remember the clock? Do you remember which one you do first? Which hand goes first? Is it the big hand is first, the little hand? Little hand. What's the little hand pointing to? What number is that? Hmm. Do you remember what you say up here when the big hand's on the 12? Hint, hint. So we say the number first, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Let's see, let's do another one, warm ourselves up a little bit. What about this one? Eight o'clock, eight o'clock. Let's do this one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Three o'clock. Five o'clock. Nice. Let's just do one more. Oh, I'm going to trick you. I'm going to trick you. What is this? It's hiding. But you got to say it first. So let's look at the number. What number is that? Twelve. Twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. All right. Are you all warmed up? Do you remember what an insect is? Insect parts. How many insect parts are there? Three. Three insect parts. Head. What's this one? Thorax and abdomen. Head, thorax, abdomen. Stand up. Here we go. Head. Thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Can you do it faster? I bet we can. Let's do it. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Girls, do you want to sing? You want to sing? Okay, Beatrix, she wants to sing with us. Are you ready? Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, and sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Oh, Beatrix. <gasps> Babby, you want to sing too? Babby says that she can sing faster. All right, let's see, Babs. Here we go. Take a deep breath. <gasps> Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, and tan and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. <gasps> Babs, you did sing it faster than your sister. So competitive. Okay, friends, now let's do it all together. You girls are gonna have to just get along down here. Take a deep breath and we're gonna go super fast. Are you ready? Here we go. Head thorax up and sometimes wings. Head thorax up and sometimes wings. Eyes and mouth, antenna, and six legs. Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings. Good job. All right. Can you think of an insect that does not have wings? We talked about one yesterday. They all went marching one by one. What are those insects? Ants, right? Yes. There are some flying ants, but we have a lot of sugar ants around our valley. That's what we have in Walla Walla. 
And let's see, what's another one? It starts with the letter B. And it's black. Ooh, that starts with B too. It's a black bug. Ooh. And it's a b beetle. Beetle. Beetle, beetle. Okay? We've also got um, a little sort here that we're going to do from yesterday. We're going to finish it. So let's move this out of the way. Okay. Remember, not insects. Yesterday, we said a spider was not an insect, a chick, a worm, snake, snail, and a bird. None of those are insects. But these are a ladybug, a bumblebee, and an ant. Okay, let's see. Now, we have a caterpillar. This is kind of a tricky one because it's a baby insect. So, it hasn't transformed to an insect yet. Hmm. I have an idea. What if we move these over a little bit and we put the caterpillar in the middle, okay? Because yes, it is a baby insect, but it's not an insect yet. That's a tricky one. How about this one? This might be a little easier. It's a fly. Those pesky flies, right? Is that an insect? Head, thorax, abdomen, sometimes wings, six legs? Yes. That is an insect. Tiny Acres has these. They jump, jump, jump. What are those called? Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers are totally insects. They have six legs. They can fly. They have antenna. All right, how about this one? A crab. <laughs> Girls, a crab. Is a crab an insect? No, it lives in the ocean, right? No, no, no. All right, how about this one? A beetle. Is a beetle an insect? Six legs, one, two, three, four, five, six. Antenna, head thorax abdomen. These awesome creatures, dragonflies. Are dragonflies insects? Mm-hmm, one, two, three. Wings, yes. Jellyfish. No jellyfish. A mouse. Is a mouse an insect? No. <coughs> no, it's not. It is a mammal. It's got hair and warm body temperature. Okay, next is butterfly. Is a butterfly an insect? Yeah, because the caterpillar starts as the baby and it turns into the butterfly. Girls, I don't know what your guys are barking over here for. I don't know. They think they hear something. <laughs> okay. All right. My brain's all warmed up. I don't know about you. Let's move along. Please stand for the flex. Salute. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand in the air, in the air. Put your right hand on your belly button. Put your right hand on your ankle. Put your right hand on your heart, on your heart. Thump, thump. Salute. Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes. Okay, let's move on to calendar. We need to figure out what number we are on today. So, let's make it rain as we count on, because April showers bring May flowers. Here we go. One two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <coughs> sixteen. What two numbers make sixteen? A one and a six. <laughs> What comes next in the pattern? What comes after red umbrella? I bet you know it, and I don't even have to go through the whole thing. Red umbrella? What goes in between the umbrellas? Rain? Clouds. Just clouds. No rain. Just seeing if you're on your toes. Okay. It's a cloud. And it's a 16, a 1, and a 6. Here we go. Today is Thursday, April 16, 2020. Two, zero, two, zero. Okay, we need a tally mark. We are going to put four in our bundle today. So we're going to add one more. Girls. You're, there's no one out there. I'm going to let you running. I think they're just hoping that one of you are going to pull up to visit. I think there may be a couple of you coming up today to get some new books, and I'm excited to see you. Okay. Oh, uh, where are we at here? Where are we at? Counting by fives. <laughs> When you get to the 110, you're going to, here we go, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 112, 113, 114 days of school. How do we make a 114? Let's see. Do you remember? Tell me. A one. 100. And we need a 14, right? So what comes next? A four or a one? A one, and then a four. One hundred and fourteen days smarter. Okay, what's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather out today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Is there snow? Tell me, preschoolers, what's the weather? What's the weather? Do you know? What is it today? I see something beautiful out. Do you? Is it the sky? Yes, it's gorgeous. Okay, we were tied yesterday. Two to two. So if we put this up today, oh, who's in the lead now? Sunshine is in the lead right now. We have one, two, three. Three sunnies, one, two, two cloudies, and one. Oh, it's like stairs. They're all going down one. Okay, let's see. For days of the week, let's do dog voices. Since all the dogs are in here today, <coughs> let's do this. Okay. Days of the week. Days of the week, ruff, ruff. days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Ruff, ruff. Come on, Batty. Come do it with us. She wants to do it. She's been my helper all day today. Okay. Are you ready, Batty? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. 
and then there's Saturday, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Okay, Babs has three questions. The first question is, what's today? Hmm, what is today? It's our last day for the week. So that is, what is it, Babby? Is it Thursday? Yes, it is, yay! It's Thursday. What was, oh, what's the next question, Babs? What was yesterday? What was yesterday? Hmm, garbage truck came here and it's pretty wacky. Wacky Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Today is Thursday. What will tomorrow be? Hmm. Tomorrow is going to be Friday. Friday. Yay. Good job, Dad. Thanks for helping. You're a good girl. Okay. What is our season? Our season is Spring! It's still spring and it's beautiful today. Oh, I need to change this cloudy. What do I need to change this cloudy to? You got it. A sunny. Put that sunny right there. It's still kind of cool out there, but I think it might warm up because it's supposed to be beautiful today and tomorrow. I'm excited. Okay, let's move on to... Let's see, what should we do first? Should we do a story first and then I'll teach you an art project? Does that sound fun? Let's do it. This is one of my favorite books as well. I have lots of favorite books. It's so hard to choose just one. But remember we read this one, right? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Do you remember the author's name? Eric, Eric Carl, okay, Eric Carl made another insect book. What? Yes. Hey, this one's called The Very Quiet Cricket. A cricket is an insect. And you might hear them at nighttime chirping their beautiful song. And you hear them here at Tiny Acres along with frogs. They're all, they're all friends. And they all make a beautiful music at nighttime. Okay. Let me get this fixed here. Remember, he does watercolors for his illustrations. One warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Hey, didn't that happen in the Very Hungry Caterpillar? Let's look. I got it right here. Let's compare these books. Okay. This one is in the light of the moon, the tiny, tiny egg was laid, right? And then in the sun, Sunday morning, out popped a baby caterpillar. So similar. Okay, let's do this again. Okay, one warm day from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. He's trying to talk to the big cricket. He can't. Good morning, whizzed a locust, spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. He's still so tiny. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but Nothing happened. Not a sound. 
Poor Cricket. Good day, crunched a worm, munching his way out of an apple. The little Cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened, not a sound. Do you think he's ever gonna be able to talk? Bubbled a spittle bug, slurping a sea of froth. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together. But nothing happened. Not a sound. Again. Good afternoon, screeched to Sisida clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Maybe that's called a cicada. Is it a cicada? I don't know. I don't think we have those around here. How are you? Hummed a bumblebee. Flying from flower to flower, the little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but not a sound. Nothing happened. What is going on? Good evening, word a dragonfly gliding above, above the water. The little cricket wanted to answer. So he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Oh, do you think he's feeling frustrated? Is it okay to feel frustrated sometimes? Yeah. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes dancing among the stars. Because what time of night do mos what time of day do mosquitoes come out? Usually nighttime, in the evening when it's cooler. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together. Oh, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Again. A luna moth sailed quietly through the night. And the crickets and just was quiet. He is a very quiet cricket. As the luna moth disappeared silently into the distance, the cricket saw another cricket. And then he rubbed his wings together one more time. Do you think it worked? Do you think he can talk to her? Oh, it was the most beautiful sound that she ever heard. Oh no, I think my battery might be going. I think here's how it happened today, right? I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just making a beeping noise now. Oh man. Anyways, it makes a beautiful cricket sound. So yes, he finally gets to talk. But it wasn't until he saw her. Another cricket. So you have to have patience. Sometimes things don't go your way, right? And you just gotta keep trying. Don't give up. Okay, let's do a little project. We, uh, I got a little ladybug project. Actually, there's a couple different projects. The first one is totally design your own insect. You can use different colored pieces of paper, like construction paper, cut out a head, cut out a thorax, cut out an abdomen, give it some antenna, some eyes and a mouth. 
You can also put some wings. You can use like, um, your mommy and daddy might have some wax paper in their drawer or parchment paper, and you can use those as some wings. You can be creative. Look around your house. Okay, another thing that you can do is get a little half sheet of paper and make a semi-circle. Remember a semi-circle, a half circle, like when we drew the bunny? Okay, use your scissors. When you're holding your scissors and you're walking across the, the room, remember, nose down, ears up, safety first, okay? Use a, a black marker and make your half circle, and then you're going to doop, 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 cut it out. So then it's like this, okay? And then, you, if you have any red construction paper, or you can also color white paper red, but what you do is you tear. Remember, we've done that before when we made the snowman, and you're like, ow, oh, my fingers hurt, this is so hard. And I'm like, don't give up, keep trying. And you all did so good, okay? Rip them into little pieces like this. Don't throw them on the floor, I just did that, okay? Then, you're going to glue them all around here on your little half semicircle. Try to cover up all of the background color. So I used white so it's easier to see. So this person could have added some more red. Also get a black piece of paper, tear it just like I did to make little spots for your ladybug. I also, you need to make a, a head for your ladybug, right? So I just did another half circle right here. And then you can put Google eyes if you have any Google eyes, or you can draw your eyes like this little person did with a white crayon because white crayons show up really good on black paper. And that is another project that you can do today. Keep you busy. Okay, what else? Um, let's see, you can still come by and check out books. I have your journals here too, if you wanna pick up your journal and you can start journaling in that for the rest of the school year and all summer. Um, yeah, come see the baby goats. I think Alana's gonna come today and I think Dylan and Kai are gonna stop by and get some books. And so yeah, give me a shout out if you wanna come out um, and help feed the goats. I feed them at 11 o'clock in the morning and um, 3 p.m. in the afternoon. So let me know. We will talk to you all later. Have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday.